Hey friends, welcome aboard. This is Dolany TV as we get set up for a Saturday edition as the Oilers, well, finished the preseason 3-5-0 and after what was a very, I think the Edmonton Journal put it best, sleepy performance through the first eight games of the calendar this year. Doesn't mean anything, hopefully not. Is it cause for concern now that it's over? Well, maybe, but again, it's only preseason and we're just going to have to hang on to that and hopefully be okay with the fact that preseason wasn't so good and maybe we'll be better in the regular season. That's the hope we're holding on to. But I've got, in this edition, more reasons to be excited for the Oilers-Jets season opener at Rogers Place rather than just the game itself. And that's speaking personally, so apologies if that doesn't line up for you quite the same but here we go friends let's get into the news let's not waste any time the battle decisions you can see a million and one posts on twitter x whatever you want to call it nowadays from oilers commentators talking about noah Philp this after or this morning last night yesterday afternoon it all started on 6 30 ched with bob stoffer and frank saravelli talking about how Noah Philp has the inside track, but uh, Reed Wilkins echoing that here, saying that Philp was the best story of the Oilers post uh, preseason. Just one regulation win in eight games probably means nothing, but I thought they were mostly mundane offensively. We just covered that, but you get where that's going, right? This is not an uncommon consensus on my part. Uh, Emerson will probably grow into playing with Nurse. His numbers last night actually were pretty impressive, all things considered, given the loss. And Stetcher gives everything he has. Will they be enough? Well, what of Josh Brown, who uh, quite honestly lost himself a job in this year's preseason? We haven't seen a guy come in in a long while on a bare-bones contract in Edmonton and really just straight up lose a job on an Oilers roster that traditionally, over the past 10, 15, 20 years, has not been extremely hard to make. So what of that? Well, let's go here and talk about it a little bit. As Frank Cervelli asking, can I see a world in which Josh Brown hits waivers? I'd be surprised. And Bob Stoffer echoes the same thing, same here. So they also in the same breath talk about uh, Dermot will be uh, thinking Dermot will be signed, but uh, it would ultimately reveal the Oilers carrying eight defensemen, which I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen, right? That seems crazy in comparison to maybe carrying an extra forward and not having to wave Derek Ryan to ultimately be able to keep Noah Philp up. So kind of some moving parts here, uh, as we knew there would be. But again, it's, it's almost silly that a guy can lose a place in camp like Josh Brown did over the course of his games played and his training camp so far. And the Oilers are like, oh, well, you know what? You bought a house. We just, we got to be a bad message to send. I'm, I'm sorry. At the end of the day is you show up to camp and you earn a job. That's the job of training camp. So I'm not trying to come down on Josh Brown here. But again, it, it's not from Josh Brown's perspective. It's from the Oilers perspective of you don't sit here and, oh, well, 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 we just can't. That'd be bad. That'd be rude. Again, you're a business run it like a business. Why do you run like a business 98 other percent of the times, but here all of a sudden you sign one guy to a three-year, $1 million contract and it's like, we just can't. It's just not right. Well, I'm sorry. Josh Brown on his part didn't live up to the expectation that was placed, which is win a job. So just, just some thoughts there for you. Again, I might be out of the left field. Don't know. Agree, disagree, whatever. But I want to get to the game against the Winnipeg Jets on October 9th. What you do need to know before we get to that story is the rosters for the Oilers, the cap compliancy rosters, have to be submitted October 7th, somewhere around 3 p.m. We probably won't see them until 8 p.m. knowing the Oilers. That's the way they've released them the past couple of years. So stay tuned, but obviously we are just over 48 hours away from figuring out who will officially start on the Oilers roster for night one of the NHL season. So looking forward to seeing that. But as we do go here, I do want to get back to this Oilers-Jets excitement slide. There is a lot to be excited about for the home opener, kind of going over last year, going over this year, and getting off on the right foot. 
Uh, number one is the Western Conference Champions banner. That will be raised on home ice October 9th. That's going to be a blast uh, to see for the first time, I think, in my entire time being in a building at Rogers Place, see a banner go up. And secondary to that as well, Patrick, Brandon, and I all uh, got a little reservation there to Studio 99, something we've talked about for a long dang time going to these Oilers games, as you've seen us do over the past few years. And uh, we finally pulled the trigger and got the job done and got a reservation for Studio 99 on a big night in oil country, no less. So that's pretty exciting, I must say. And the last one, well, friends, of course, of course, hockey's back. Let's go, right? This is going to be the nice part is the weather's kind of held up throughout the fall up until this point, and now hockey's back. Hopefully it holds up till about October 10th so that I can drive home nice and safe, and then away we go with a good old, well, good old, I guess, midweek weekend in Edmonton, realistically speaking, and away the Oilers start the season. So looking forward to all that, but again, thank you so much for being aboard here this afternoon, this morning, whenever you had some time. I'm going to leave you on that, and we're going to go from there. So definitely, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. would love to have you aboard for the rest of the season. But other than that, you have a great day. We'll talk about waivers. We'll talk about player movement today when it happens. And from there, I'm up on out of here.